Well, we've had our breakfast and we've had our coffee and everybody knows what happens after you have a cup of coffee in the morning. Makes you have to go to the bathroom. That's right, my friends. It's an unpleasant topic, but it's a reality. We're about to talk about pooping in the woods. Two things I always include in my backpacking kit are what we see here. Um, what I like to refer to as my bathroom bag. I've got um, you know, my toothbrush and some hand sanitizer and some toilet paper and some uh, some wet wipes, which are which are just delightful when you're out in the woods. Um, and then I've got this orange, bright orange plastic trowel that I carry with me everywhere. It doesn't weigh very much. Uh, your hardcore ultra lightweight backpackers would argue that you could just use a stick, but whatever. It's my it's a luxury item. Uh, okay, so when it comes time to poop in the woods, the first thing you need to take into consideration is the location. Uh, you want to make sure that you're very far from your tent uh, or other people's tents and very far from a water source. So even though we can hear the stream in the background, uh, there's just really no getting away from the sound of the stream out here. So I'm probably about, oh, 300 feet away from any of those things, so and I'm nowhere near the trail. So what we want to do is uh, we want to look for a place where there's either a log that you can sit on. Some people prefer the, uh, the hang their butt cheeks over the edge of a log technique. Uh, let's see if I can simulate this for you. So I don't know if the camera's going to picture me. It's basically, you know, just uh, you just have a log and uh, you let your um, your butt hang out over the edge. I don't know. I can't. I can't do it that way. for me, but some people do that. Personally, I prefer the tree method. I like to find a tree that looks like it's going to be able to support my weight, so I'm going to hang from it. Uh, well, you'll see what I mean. I'm not going to hang from a branch. Um, and then what we want to do is, ideally, with a slight downhill slope, uh, a little ways probably about a foot away from the, the base of the tree, you want to dig your hole, okay? So this one's kind of in the shadows right now, but you can see I've dug a hole that's almost as deep as the trowel is tall. And, you know, pretty good sized, pretty good sized circle, because uh, that's what you're going to be aiming for. So what we do next is I'm going to stand by this tree and wrap my arms around the tree and I'm going to put my feet at the base of the tree like this and I'm just going to assume a squatting position which places my working parts right over the target area. So, There you go, there's your backcountry bathroom. All right, so we're done here, and uh, I've filled the hole, uh, both literally and figuratively. So uh, I took my trowel and took all of the dirt that was originally in the hole and put it back on there, scattered leaves on the top. Uh, you, know, you really can't tell where it was. I'm still looking right at it, so I know. But because we are uh, in, we're in an area that is frequented by backpackers, you know, there is a camp, I did walk here from my campsite, uh, what I want to do now is leave a signal for other, other, other hikers, and I'm just going to take a straight stick that's probably, well this one might be a little bit too long, but about 12 inches long, and then poke it into the ground right where I've committed my, my crime here, and just leave that stick sticking out of the ground like that. Uh, that's kind of the international signal for, hey, somebody pooped here. Um, Nobody likes to uh, nobody likes to dig a hole and find that it's already already full. If you know what I mean. All right, so now we're ready to start our day. Really, go out there and do some walking. <laughs> 